Today, we're going to do a crash course on the nitrogen cycle. Don't go anywhere. What's up, YouTube and all my fish keeping friends? How's it going out there in fish tank land? This is Joseph Harden from JH Aquatics, and I'm here to bring with you all my fish keeping adventures, knowledge, and more. All right, guys, we're going to get right into it. Now, the nitrogen cycle really isn't going to start until there's fish or some kind of uh, uh, animal biology in the tank to start creating some waste. So we're going to start out with a fish here. Cute little fish, little eyes, smiley face, little bubbles going up. Now that fish, you're going to have to feed it. So you're going to start putting flake food in the tank and whatnot. Now that flake food, the fish is not going to eat all that flake food. So some of that food is going to fall to the bottom, get hidden up in the plants and into the gravel on your substrate. Um, and on top of that, now the fish is going to be defecating. Now we have waste going, we have a bio load going into the tank now. So now we have a combination of that fish food and then all the waste from the fishy. And now we are created dead biomatter in the tank. Now this biomatter is going to build up. Now at this point, it's important for bacteria to start being involved in this um, water column into this um, biotope in order for it to start breaking this stuff down. So the first bacteria that's going to start working here is the heterotrophic bacteria. Now heterotroph heterotrophic bacteria is really just bacteria uh, that cannot create its own food. It has to find its food uh, to stay alive and whatnot. So we have the heterotrophic bacteria. Horrible, horrible handwriting. Probably can't understand that at all. Have heterotrophic bacteria. Um, that bacteria now is going to take all of this dead matter and it's going to turn it and convert it into ammonia and ammonium, which is going to be your NH3 and your NH4, which is ammonia. Now, that ammonia and the ammonium is very toxic for your tank. And when that starts to build up in the tank, it's, it's just going to kill your fish. Um, so now we have to have other bacteria in place to take and break down that ammonia into something else. And we're talking about nitrosomonas bacteria, um, nitrifying bacteria. Now this nitrosomonas bacteria is uh, nitrosomonas bacteria looks like little hot dog shaped things a lot of cases little hot dog sausage shaped things and little spherical little deals that kind of look like stars and stuff like that uh, now that nitrosomonas bacteria is going to start to break down that ammonia into nitrite now that nitrite that is breaks itself into is a lot more um, less harmful to the fish than the ammonia, but it is still not really good at all. So that's going to be NO2. That's your nitrite. That nitrite has to be broken down. It's going to have to be broken down through other forms of bacteria. Now this bacteria is known as nitrospira or nitro, nitrobacter. Um, and that nitrospira, which also looks a lot like little round organisms and other hot dog shaped little, little guys with maybe little phalanges that come off of it or whatnot to collect nutrients and move through the water. Um, now that nitrates, those nitrates are going to be eaten up by the nitrospira, which now that nitrospira is going to convert it into NO3. That NO3, which is nitrate, that nitrate is even less harmful for the fish. Now it's still harmful to the fish in large amounts, but a lot less harmful. And another thing to keep in mind that that nitrate is also food for plants. So the idea of having a planted tank, now you've got your plants, you've got some big leafy plants and whatnot, and you want you know, your java moss and other things like that. And even the algae in the tank is going to help absorb these nitrates, uh, which is one of the reasons why you're going to see a lot of algae in a tank when it's going through its nitrogen cycle. Uh, these uh, nitrates and the nitrates are going to build up in the tank 
and your plants aren't going to be enough for it and then you're going to get algae because there's going to be so many extra nutrients and nitrogens in the water that anything everything is going to try to grow in your tank. So with the combination of having a balance of a heavily planted tank with live plants um, and also oxygen, let me put that in there because the combination of having some oxygen in the tank is going to help all these organisms and bacteria help break down the ammonias and the dead matter into nitrates in the end, but it's also going to help to oxidize off these components, these elements, and oxidize off the nitrate. So having oxygenated water, having plants in the water, and then thirdly, also doing water changes. Doing the water changes in the end is going to be the ultimate way to balance this system out. All these other components are going to take place, but in the end you're still going to end up with a whole bunch of nitrates, uh, no matter how many plants you have. Uh, and then it also depends on your fish load. So you have a balance based on uh, what, how much of a bio load you have on the tank, how many organisms and things you have in the tank to absorb those nutrients once they're converted down into nitrites and nitrates and then how often you do water changes. The combination of those three things is what's really going to balance your tank and have an easy move through your nitrogen cycle. But I think it's really important to remember that in the beginning of a new tank these things are going to occur. You're going to, you don't need to freak out when you see some algae in the tank in your first month or two. It kind of should happen. I think a lot of people just don't take the time to do it properly. Really the best case scenario is to introduce everything slowly into your tank and you're going to start with your snails and your bottom feeders and whatnot, and you're just going to let the tank bacteria come to life and grow first before you throw a whole bunch of fish in there because it will not be able to keep up. Um, these different things like the nitrospira and the nitrosomonas bacteria reproduce at a slower rate than heterotrophic bacteria. So if you don't let it happen slowly, it will quickly go out of balance and you're going to end up with green water, algae, and whatnot. Uh, so I hope this helped you guys a lot. Thank you guys so much again for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you again for all the subscribers that I already have. If you're not subscribed already, go ahead and take a moment to subscribe down below. And don't forget to like, comment, and share. And remember guys, keep your tanks clean, your fish fed, and have fun.